Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, just wanted to do another video today. Uh, this time it's going to be a bit different. Um, I wanted to do a kind of a code tactics video um, where I talk about some approaches to problem solving and uh, programming. And also in this video, just for fun, I'm going to do a little bit of a sneak peek of something I'll be doing a full tutorial on soon that a lot of people have requested. Um, I'll go ahead and show that right now just for fun. Uh, let me slow down the rotation of this guy to one. And then I'll go ahead and play. And uh, what we've got here is we've got a uh, planet that we can land on and uh, walk around on. And it has correct camera rotation and everything else. Sort of like a Super Mario Galaxy type of thing here. So I'll be doing a full tutorial on this sometime soon. I haven't put it all together and there's still a couple bugs I'm working out. So uh, just be a little bit patient with me on getting that out. But in the meantime, I wanted to talk about uh, some code tactics. Um, I want to have a slight caveat here. I'm not ever, if I, in these videos, uh, I want to do a few of them. I'm not ever saying that uh, the approach is the best way or the only way or the right way or anything like that. It's just some tips and things that have helped me get through problems that I've got stuck on um, and that I hope would be helpful to other people. And I'm also not saying that the code I produce from using these in the examples that I'll be using is really well architected code. It's not necessarily the best code ever. Uh, it, it might be, it might be great, but it might also be, you know, using event tick and doing some questionable things that uh, you shouldn't use in the long run. It's more about just talking about how to come to a problem that you're having a hard time with and kind of breaking it down. So today I want to talk about stepping away from a problem and, and not just, you know, everybody knows, oh yeah, just walk away for a bit, but like some specific things that I do that help me step away and then come back usefully and then get through the problem that I stepped away from in the first place. So I actually started out uh, filming a different code tactics video where I was going to talk about um, outside in problem solving. And it was working and it was coming along, but it was just taking a long time. It was taking, it was like a half hour into the video and, and I still haven't, hadn't gotten through all of the problem. And I realized that the video was getting too long and I was having some bugs that I needed to work out. You know, the, the process was working, but it was just, it was too complicated for what I was doing. Um, so what was I trying to do? Well, I was trying to um, get these things to follow. So these uh, sticks here are not actually part of the planet. They are a separate thing. You know, you might want these planets to move around and they're orbiting and rotating. Um, but then you might want to put buildings or trees or what have you on these planets and you want it to rotate with them. You want it to be part of the planet. But how do you, you can't just group it in the scene. You can't group a blueprint with another blueprint and then hope that they work because this planet is actually really big. This has this orbital thing and it rotates just this mesh and so I started the, pro the, the problem solving and I had created a whole bunch of functions and uh, doing rotational logic and it was working almost but it was you know just a little detail bugs that always get you. Uh, and so I stopped the video. I said no I need to step away from this. This is getting too complicated. The video's out of hand. Um, and I walked away and I went and used the restroom and I got some coffee and um, that's the first point is uh, when you step away, make sure that you don't just like get up and walk around and think about the pro problem. That's not really stepping away. You, you might be stepping away from your workstation, but you're not stepping away from the problem. You're not mentally stepping away. Part of the reason that we step away um, and when it works the best is when you really truly are not thinking about it. So I went and I like fed a duck. Then we have a some ducks that come up in our backyard and I fed the duck and got some coffee and read Facebook and I just I wasn't even thinking about it anymore so that's the first thing and then when you come back there's another important thing is okay so yeah you, you haven't been thinking about it but when you come back are you going to treat it like there was just a thread sleep and then when you come back you're gonna sit down and you're like okay where was I you know what was I working on fixing what was the bug you know and if you do that what you're going to find I or what I often find maybe you wouldn't, maybe this works really well for you, but what I often find is when I come back and I do that and I say, okay, what was the problem I was trying to solve, is I just pick up right where I was. And I and it takes me even longer because I have to figure out where I was, and then when I do figure out where I was, I'm stuck on the same things, and I have, I'm having the same problem. So in this case, 
you know, I could have come back and said, okay, what was the rotational thing I was working on? What was the mathematics? And, you know, okay, and what was I stuck on? And what was it doing? And stuff like that. But instead, what I did, um, and you can see that it's working. So I, I, uh, I fixed it. But I didn't fix it by solving the mathematics that I was working on before. I fixed it by treating my old self as a different developer who's come to me and said, hey, I'm stuck on this. I'm having a hard time. I can't figure it out. Can you maybe like help me walk through it? Sure, old developer, Matt. Uh, what What is it that you're trying to accomplish in the first place? Well, I, I want to have these other blueprints, and I want to uh, put them on the planet, and I want them to rotate around with the planet. But the planet's this big object, and it's rotating around the center of it as an orbit, and then the planet mesh itself is rotating to get the planet rotation. And, and I'm trying to write all the logic. And I say, and I said to myself, okay, sort of, you know, hypothetical old developer, Matt, it sounds like what you're doing rotationally isn't necessarily nece necessary to the end goal of getting this thing to stay in its relative, you know, orientation to this planet, right? All this rotational logic, if it works, great, but that's not, you know, if you can do it some other way, you'd be just as happy, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. So, Maybe the approach is wrong. Let's think about what you're trying to accomplish. You really want this to be attached to this. And you were sort of faking it. You were trying to figure out all the rotation to make it look like it's attached. But what if we actually just attach it? Let's do the simple thing. Let's try the simple thing first. Let's forget all of this logic and the approach and everything else. And let's just say, okay, you want it to attach? Let's attach it. So that's what I did. I, I dropped my old approach. I deleted all of my old code. And I started with the easy, the easy thought. So I have this actor here. This is a planet fixture. This is anything that we want to be affixed to a planet. And I just, um, I tried it in the uh, uh, construction script first and it didn't work. Um, so then I did it on event begin play. So what I did is I created a variable that is a reference to the planet. You can see I have this, this planet blueprint. And I just created a reference to that. And uh, I exposed it so you can set it in the editor. And then on event begin play, and again, I tried this on the construction and it didn't work, but on event begin play, I just check and I say, hey, is this a valid thing? Is it actually set? Did you set it? And if, because if you didn't, I don't want to do anything. I don't want to like get a bunch of errors. And if it is, what I we're going to grab it and we're going to get the actual planet mesh off it. That's what this is doing. I should have called this planet mesh. I don't know why I called it planet as a sub to the planet object, but this is the planet mesh. And we want to attach uh, our mesh in this planet fixture here. We want to attach the mesh of the planet fixture to the mesh of the planet, this planet mesh. And we want to keep all of our world stuff when we do the attachment. And let's see what happens. And I click play. And it works. It works perfectly. It seems like uh, I was doing a whole bunch of work to do something that could be done very simply, right? This is the common sense way to do it. You, you want it to be attached, so attach it. Attachment was like the core concept that I just was, I wasn't thinking about correctly. I was I was stuck in this whole rotation. I want to keep the rotation. But, but what I really wanted, I, I just wanted these things to be attached to the surface of the planet. So that's what I did. And I wouldn't have been able to get to that point if I hadn't stepped away. Because I would have just kept cycling on this rotational stuff. I might have eventually got it. It would have been this huge blueprint with all sorts of delta rotate. Come find the rotator here and get save off the original location. Then make sure you know the offset and do this rotation stuff. It would have been crazy. But I, I, I realized that I was struggling with it. And so I just basically stopped. I didn't think about it for 10 or 15 minutes. I just walked away. When I came back, I didn't just come back to the same thread. I didn't pick it up. Instead, I deleted that code. I said, and I'm not saying to necessarily delete your code. If you've got a lot of code, it might be useful to keep that stored away, but disconnect it, you know, cut that off, make it, you know, comment it out, whatever you need to do and say, hey, okay, I'm gonna go, you know, and if you have, if you're working on a team or you have other people around who know how to program, it might be helpful to go ask them because they can give you that other perspective. But if you don't, use yourself in that way, say, okay, what what are you trying to do you know explain to me what you're trying to do and the important question is why were you trying to do it so that's how i did it in this case 
Um, I hope that was useful. If you guys have good techniques for how to, you know, break away and like come back to something fresh, leave it in the comments. I, if uh, you think this is a stupid approach that you should never use, let me know that too and why. Um, just, you know, I'd love to hear. If uh, you like this type of video and you find it useful to hear this sort of thing, let me know that too because I would like to make a few more of these. Um, I want to talk about outside-in programming, the, the video is originally making on this. And I also want to talk about um, how to code starting from English. Right? You have this idea and you can say it in English, but then how do you say that, translate that into code? So uh, I have a few of these in mind that I want to do. Um, if you like these, let me know. If you dislike them, let me know. Um, I always want to do concrete examples with them so they shouldn't get too abstract and just me talking about some abstract thing that you don't have any idea how to apply. I always want to have an example um, where I'm actually accomplishing something in the, in the engine. So let me know. Uh, also, I'll have the planetary tutorials out in the next few weeks. It's going to be a series of tutorials that are going to be longer. They're not going to be quick how-tos, obviously. So if you're excited about those, uh, let me know that too. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope this helped. Bye.